to my kitchen. Let's use some of that magic mix that I made yesterday and we're going to make some cream of broccoli soup. I need one can of cream of broccoli soup for a recipe that I'm going to be making which is a hash brown casserole. It calls for one can of cream of broccoli soup condensed. So we're going to make that using our magic mix and this is how we're going to do it. I took my magic mix out of the freezer and it, because it was in the freezer it's a little stiff so I broke it up. I measured out one cup. Now if you want to make the equivalent of one can of condensed soup, you need one cup of magic mix and three quarters of a cup of water. I had dehydrated some organic broccoli last year that I got off the clearance rack at my Harris Teeter. I bought, I got a whole bunch of it and I dehydrated it all and I have two, two quart jars full of dehydrated broccoli. So you should have smelled the house. It smelled like broccoli. Mm -hmm. It certainly did. So what I've done here is I boiled two cups of water in the microwave and I poured it over my um, my dehydrated broccoli and my broccoli is rehydrated. So what I'm going to do, rather than waste this water because it's full of good flavor, we need three quarters of a cup of that and that's where that is. So. I'm just going to come over here. I'm going to put all of these in the pot together. I'm going to turn the heat on low. Whisk, whisk, whisk. Now remember, this is the equivalent of one can of condensed soup. So this is how it would be if you took it right out of the can because we don't want it we don't want it diluted. We just want it thickened. So we're going to put it over the low heat. I've got it over medium heat with medium low heat. And because I put warm water in there and it's got all that good broccoli flavor, which is a bonus, what I'm going to do while that is coming up to heat, I'm going to have Rick come over here real quick just so that you can see what I'm doing. There's your little helper here as you. Yes, there she is. She never leaves my side. Probably not going to use all this broccoli in the soup itself. The beautiful part about this is, you know, when you get um, condensed soup, I mean, honestly, how much vegetable is there really? in that can. Not a whole lot. You can put as little or as much as you like. And I'm just running it through, running my knife through it rather. And this tastes really good. It tastes just like fresh broccoli. Um, so if you are out there and you have been toying with the idea of, of dehydrating your own vegetables, I highly recommend it because there's nothing like having this on the shelf. Um, even as it's just a regular everyday go-to. It's fantastic. Now let's come over here. We don't want this to sit too long without stirring it because the flour that's in there is going to um, start to thicken this mixture up. Now remember, a can of condensed soup is about 10 ounces. So this is a cup of Magic Mix, which is eight ounces, and three quarters of a cup, and it's eight ounces by volume. So it's probably not eight ounces by weight. Um, this is going to be very close to what a can of soup would be if you bought it off the shelf. The fact that we've added the broccoli rehydrating liquid is going to boost the broccoli flavor in this all the more. And you can don't have to do that. You can just make a white sauce. If you're going to make cream mushroom soup, I don't buy canned mushrooms anymore for certain reasons, but I do always have dehydrated mushrooms on my shelf. So I would rehydrate mushrooms and then I would use that water along with chopped mushrooms and I would make cream mushroom soup. If I was going to make, and the, here's one other thing I'm going to add to this. I'm going to add a half a teaspoon of chicken bouillon For flavor, and this is my Shirley J. Where are you? I'm coming back over here. Half a teaspoon or thereabouts. This is my Shirley J, and you can get this online. 
Shirley J. Bullion is excellent. It's not an advertisement. It's just something that I like. Um, you, you can literally cook circles around me. What? You can, you can literally cook circles around me. I can me. cook circles around you. Okay, honey. And I can feel it starting to thicken. And this is, an, is a, you know, you can make it with just water and it will be a white sauce. And you can add Parmesan cheese to it and you can make Alfredo sauce. You can add cocoa to it and some egg powder and some sugar and make chocolate pudding. There are a lot of things you can do with this magic mix. You can take that chocolate pudding base and you can put it in some popsicle molds, put it in your freezer and homemade fudgesicles. You can do the same by adding orange juice and you can make something that's very similar to a, a, a creamsicle. There are a lot of uses for this. If I think of all the cream soups that you can buy off the shelf, you can easily replicate those by doing this. Cream and chicken soup, no problem. Add chicken bouillon and homemade canned chicken. Cream of asparagus, just like I'm doing here with the broccoli. Cream of mushroom. Cream of chicken and mushroom. Cream of celery. Rehydrate some of your dehydrated celery and throw it in here with some celery seed a little salt and pepper, and you're good to go. No chemicals, no thickeners, no carrageenan, no xanthan gum, no nothing. And you know where it came from. Let me see if it's starting to simmer. I'm gonna turn it up a skosh. feeling I have my oven preheating too because I'm getting ready to do a video of that hash brown casserole so don't worry I'm gonna show you how I make that too but I wanted to do this separately in case there's people who don't want to watch the other one and that hash brown casserole can be done completely from food storage as well I'm gonna go over that I'm not doing it all the way from food storage today but it certainly can be done that way And you can see how thick it's getting. The whisk is starting to leave trail marks in it. You see that? whisk moving you don't want to burn it on the bottom even a little bit brown you don't want that because that's not going to add any flavor in fact it's going to add a little bit of an acrid taste and that is right where you want it and I'm going to add my broccoli I'm going to have Rick come over here so I can do this on the on the cutting board. Move all of my mess out of the way. Now I want you to look at that. If you've ever had a good look at what condensed soup looks like when it comes out of the can. Not nearly as much broccoli. No, that's absolutely right. But color-wise, texture-wise, is exactly what you're after. Now, it's way better. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Way better. And you control the amount of salt the amount of seasonings overall that goes into this. Now this is about a cup and a quarter after it's made, which is just about where you're going to be. I say you're probably closer, well, you get just a little over a cup is what a can of condensed soup is. 
So, there you have it. Cream of broccoli soup made with your magic mix. It didn't take hardly any time. You know what goes into it. It came out of your food storage and it's perfect. I hope you try this and I hope you love it. And until next time, I'll see ya.